So for right now, we do have that kind of winter feeling out there. And now that the winter solstice has come and gone, winter officially, calendar-wise, underway. But what does the winter solstice mean and how does it impact weather? Meteorologist Courtney Jacobazzi has the answer. Winter officially started yesterday, and while we do have a little bit of a warm up on the way by the end of the week, normally, of course, we know winter comes with the cooler temperatures. The winter solstice kicks off the winter season. It's when we have the shortest day and the longest night. We all know how early that sunset yesterday. Sunset was at 533 to kick off this new season. Believe it or not, the seasons and the cooler air that comes with the winter season does ha has nothing to do with how far away we are from the sun. In fact, in the summer months, we're actually farther from the sun, and you might think the farther away we are, the cooler we get. No, that's not it. In summer, we reach aphelion, which is the meteorology term for being the farthest away from the sun. In the winter months, we actually get closer to the sun, and we call that the perihelion. What does impact our temperatures is Earth's tilt. Earth tilts on its axis around 23.5 degrees. In the summer months, we're tilted closer to the sun. So that gives us our longer days and gives us the opportunity to heat up more. That gives us our warmer average temperatures in the summer months. Fall, we reach the fall equinox. That's equal parts day and night. Now in the winter time, we tilt away from the sun, giving us those shorter days and longer nights so we don't have as much opportunity to heat up, leading to those cooler average high and low temperatures. In the meantime, the southern hemisphere is experiencing their summer. So that's why we have the cooler nights and cooler days in the winter months, thanks to Earth's tilt. Good stuff, Court. Appreciate it. The winter solstice officially began in Macon just before 11 yesterday morning. Next up will be the spring equinox on March 20th, where we'll have about equal parts day and night. Of course, when you look at the seven day coming up a little bit, you'll think that's going to start actually Saturday. <laughs>